Top 8 Foods That Dissolve Blood Clots Naturally Every day, your body forms blood clots on its own to shield your blood vessels from harm. Occasionally, though, these clots may not disintegrate completely and become lodged in your veins or arteries. This can induce a heart attack or stroke by stopping the blood supply to and from your heart, which makes it extremely risky. Blood clots can occur more frequently if they are close to the brain or if there is an embolism, a clot breaks off and becomes lodged in the lungs. If you sit for extended periods of time, if you are overweight, if you take birth control, or if you consume an excessive amount of inflammatory foods. Thankfully, though, your body can naturally remove blood clots with the aid of specific vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. This is the subject of today's video. Disclaimer. Just a little caution before we go any further, and just my usual reminder. This video is for educational purposes only. Before you make important dietary changes, please consult with your doctor or dietitian to verify that they are following your health needs. And the outcome will vary individually. Let's begin with cloves, which is the first food on the list. Consuming even one or two cloves daily can help stop blood platelets from aggregating and creating potentially harmful clots. Little dried flower buds called cloves are utilized as a spice and natural remedy in many cultures. Eugenol, a powerful compound with five times the antioxidant potential of vitamin E, is what gives them their distinct qualities. This component helps to prevent oxidative damage to veins and arteries while also promoting circulation to aid in the dissolution of clots. As an aside, eating basil leaves will also provide you with a good dose of eugenol. Once the heat is off, I like to add them on top of a stir-fry. Kiwis are food number two. Delicious green fruits known as kiwis are packed with actinidin, a type of proteolytic enzyme. Eating this aids in the breakdown of unwanted proteins in your body, such as fibrin around dangerous blood clots. Vitamin E, an antioxidant that helps your heart and circulatory system, is also present in kiwis. Merely consuming two to three kiwis a week can aid in the breakdown of meat, fish, and protein by your body and help prevent the formation of dangerous blood clots. Extra virgin olive oil ranks as the third food, a staple of the Mediterranean diet, extra virgin olive oil is widely known for reducing the risk of heart disease. This oil contains high levels of vitamin E, OIC acid, and polyphenols, all of which support the health of your blood vessels. They do this by lessening oxidative damage and enhancing endothelial function. One to two teaspoons of this, eaten uncooked and poured over your salad, is a great approach to help break up potentially harmful blood clots. If you're finding this information helpful so far, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest nutrition tips. Now let's return to meal number 4, pineapple. Mashed pineapples are wrapped around meat in various cultures to tenderize and facilitate chewing and cooking. This is because, similar to kiwis, pineapples also contain bromate, a type of proteolytic enzyme that aids in the breakdown of proteins. According to studies, Pineapple can also aid in the dissolution of the hard fibrous tissue that surrounds blood clots. To get these advantages, begin consuming a portion of pineapple once or twice a week. The fifth food is paprika. As a spice derived from dried peppers, paprika functions as a natural blood thinner by preventing platelets from adhering to one another and producing dangerous clots. Feel free to use paprika in your cooked foods, such as stir fries, soups, stews, or the traditional goulash, as heat does not ruin them. Eating strawberries, blueberries, and cherries can also provide you with enough amounts of silicates. The food number six is avocado. You may have an increased risk of blood clots and deep vein thrombosis if you have swollen legs or feet, a swollen face, or any combination of these conditions. Your body's excess fluid is pressuring your arteries and veins, which can lead to clotting, bleeding, and platelet activation. The easiest strategy to get rid of this excess fluid is to eat meals high in magnesium and potassium. Unbelievably, avocados are among the natural foods that have the highest levels of these nutrients. They also supply oleic acid, phytosterols, and vitamin E. Any of these can aid in the body's removal of dangerous blood clots. Sardines are food number seven in terms of dissolving blood clots. Sardines are among the healthiest meals you can eat when it comes to protein varieties. These little fish are a great source of the necessary omega-3 fats EPA and DHA, which reduce inflammation in the heart and arteries. Consuming them, either fresh or canned, can assist in lowering blood pressure. Lowering the risk of stroke, thrombosis, heart attack, or pulmonary embolism involves relaxing the arterial walls and improving blood flow throughout the body. Capers Corsetin is number 8. 
It is a yellow pigment that may be found in a wide variety of foods, including citrus fruits, onions, grapes, and cherries. This phytonutrient effectively lowers the likelihood of potentially harmful blood clots developing by blocking thromboxane A2 in the body. Add some capers to your meals to help preserve your cardiovascular system. They taste great with tuna salad or maybe some eggs. Capers are one of the greatest sources of quercetin in the world. They are also frequently used in Mediterranean cuisine. As a bonus, let me tell you about a few more foods that are also anti-clotting. We have walnuts, bok choy, fennel, tomatoes, garlic, and wild fish. How could blood clots be broken up? As I indicated before, all day long, our bodies form microscopic clots in our blood arteries and break them down again. However, as we age, we become less mobile, acquire weight, or suffer from other medical conditions. There is an increased chance that blood clots won't dissolve properly. So let's keep these items in mind for your next meals, and remember that there are additional measures you can take to help dissolve them in addition to eating the meals we've discussed today. Next, you should refrain from consuming any food that has been cooked in processed vegetable or seed oils. These oils, which include canola and corn oil, non-extra virgin olive oil, margarine, can develop sticky proteins in your blood and increase the risk of blood clots. Thus, try to stay away from fast food as much as possible and prepare your own nutritious meals at home with extra virgin cold-pressed olive oil, avocado oil, or raw virgin coconut oil. Serapeptase is a supplement that you could also take. An enzyme called serapeptase, derived from silkworms, aids in the breakdown of blood clots in the body. You may take this as a regular supplement to help maintain your blood clotting, just like a cocoon would throughout its metamorphosis. It's also critical to give up smoking and vaping. You should make every effort to stop smoking and think about using a nicotine patch to help you wean yourself off of cigarettes or vape devices since smoking lowers your vitamin C levels and destroys the lining of your veins and arteries, increasing your risk of blood clots and embolisms. If you experience stress, you could also think about taking rhodiola. As an adaptogenic plant, rhodiola lowers your risk of blood clots, heart disease, and high blood pressure by assisting your body in adjusting to stress. Furthermore, I suggest adhering to a low-carb diet, such as the ketogenic diet, if you have diabetes, are overweight, or have poor circulation. They are great options for you in these situations. You can also take extra minerals and supplements to aid in the natural breakdown of blood clots. If you're finding this information useful, hit that like button and invite your friends and family to sign up for our channel, which will provide more in-depth advice and insight. Let's reach out to one another and share knowledge so that we can progress toward a better, happier, and healthier life. Thanks for watching until the end, and I'll see you again next time.